Hey, what's up? It's H J. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I like to talk about things that are important, things that matter, be encouraging, have fun, and then just like other random stuff too. So if you're into that, make sure to subscribe, 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 yay! I don't know what that was. I just started doing it. <laughs> uh, make sure to subscribe and yeah, let's keep it moving. If you clicked on this and you are expecting a test of beauty, that's what this is. So don't worry, it's not clickbait. <laughs> um, but first, before we get to the test, I just want to say one thing and point it out that physical beauty, drum roll, physical beauty is literally in the eye of the beholder. And I know that sounds so cliche, but hear me out, okay? Have you ever been scrolling through Instagram and you're just like, do, 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 do? Oh, oh dang, that girl is pretty. Her outfit is fire, her lashes are on, her face is beat with all this makeup. She just looks so good. So that look of super made up, super dolled up, super cute, like it's, it's great. And you're like, dang, that's beautiful, right? So then you keep scrolling. Do, 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 do. Uh, Oh, dang. And you see maybe the same girl or another girl with a picture of not the freshest clothes on, like maybe just a t-shirt or a sweater, but she has no makeup on, her hair's not done, it's all like messy, and you're just like, wow, she looks, she looks really pretty in this picture. What's the difference? There's a big complete difference in those two people I just described. Lashes, no lashes, hair done, hair not done, uh, outfit banging, outfit regular, um, chilling sweatpants and no makeup on, you know what I mean? But you think that they're both cute. And so if you told me that you think one particular thing and one particular standard of beauty is what beautiful is, I would say that it's not true. It's not true that one standard of beauty is the same, that there's one way to be beautiful. Um, more examples. In America, we love to be tan. The majority of our quote unquote beauty standard is tan. Go to other countries and they're literally putting on makeup whiter than their complexion. They're whitening their skin. They want to be fair. And to them, that is a beauty standard. I like red lipstick. I like black lipstick. I could go down the list, the list, the list, the list. It's all relative. It's all what you think it is. My husband thinks that I'm beautiful. Thanks, hubs. But there has been plenty of people in my life that have let it be known that I am not attractive. That is okay, right? So that's why you can see all different types of women, some big, some small, some short, some tall, long hair, short hair, dark skin, light skin, super dark skin, super light skin, all sorts of women, different beauties, finding love or finding close friends that think that they're beautiful and having family that loves them and all sorts of stuff because it really, beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. Um, so with that being said, I have a point of saying that don't let yourself get caught up in the physical so much that you're neglecting the more important beauty, which is where we get to the test, the pretty test. All right, so get your thinking caps on and let's take this test real quick. Question number one, are you kind? Are you loving? Are you forgiving? Are you helpful? Are you encouraging? Are you kind to people even when they don't deserve it? Are you loving to people even when you think they don't deserve your love? Are you loving to people who are unlovable? Right, because it's easy to be kind and loving to people that we want to be kind and loving to, right? But it's harder whenever it's people who don't deserve our kindness. Are you encouraging to people? Are you uplifting to people? Do you think about other people? Are you mindful of other people? Or are you selfish? Do you do things for selfish gain? Do you only make your little world and your little bubble comfortable, neglecting how it may affect other people? Do the words that you speak out of your mouth bring joy to other people? Are you truthful? Are you messy and gossipy and talk trash about people who you don't like or people that don't deserve this or people that need to know this? Not building them up to other people, but always cutting them down 
to make yourself look bigger, to make yourself feel better about yourself? Do you cut people down? But that's really what this blog is about, is that you can do whatever you want, okay? I can have my hair straight and have my cute top on and put my little lipstick on and do my face and do what I wanna do, put my hoops on, because to me, that's cute, that's outer beauty, that makes me look attractive in my own thoughts and in my own rights, right? But at the end of the day, what do you really have if you are ugly on the inside? And I just wanted to encourage you that there are times when I can fail this test. There are days when I can fail every point on this test, right? Like nobody's perfect. But the beauty is, and the encouragement comes in, that the God who formed you and who created you, who is love, who is kindness, who is joy, who is perfect in all good things and creates all good things and gives all good things, he will change your hearts and he will make you more beautiful on the inside that you could ever dream to be on the outside. And it won't be instantaneous for everything, right? Like he just works on different aspects of you at a time, but don't let outer beauty, even though it, like, it can be important, right? Don't let the outer beauty be more important to you. We're here to please God. We're here to serve God. We're here to live for God, not ourselves and not for other people. So I love you guys. I just wanna encourage you. I hope that you pass the test. And obviously we're all gonna fail the test at some way, but that's where the encouragement of Christ comes in. I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe, oh, to subscribe, oh. Make sure to subscribe, oh, yeah. I just came up with that one too. Give it a like, give it a share. The number one way that a YouTube grows is through you, the viewer, sharing it on all your social media, encouraging people to check out the content, and then that's how I get subscribers, and that's how I get to keep doing videos, you know what I mean? So make sure to share with other people. I love you guys, you're amazing, and peace out.